In today's tutorial, we're going to take our marker symbols and upgrade them into marker clusters, which is going to improve performance and make our map look even better. Let's get to it. Today, we're going to be adding marker clusters to this map. In the previous video, we added a thousand points to our map. You know, we got this, but we wanna see if we can make this map a little better. And we're going to try to do that with marker clusters. To remind you, when I had made this map, I had tried to do the entire data set my computer timed out. Went to 10,000 points and I successfully loaded the map but had really bad performance issues. So then I went down to a thousand points, which is what you see here. I got good performance. So we're gonna start by adding ma marker clusters to these first thousand points. I'm gonna scroll down here to our next cell. We're gonna use the marker cluster plugin. Let me go to the documentation, click on user guide, find these, uh, find the plugin section, and then you can scroll down to marker cluster. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste just this first half of it, just so I have a template to work with. Already at the top of my Jupyter Notebook, I have the import folium, so I don't need to do that again. I don't need this map. I do want marker cluster. I also want to import the plugin itself. Comment out this. Let's just go ahead and run it. Okay, so we ran it, we ran it correctly. Let's go ahead and use this exact same map here. Let me just go ahead and get this organized down here. All right, so we've got our um, we've got our marker cluster plugin imported, and we have our map three, which is the same map that we had here. Then we are going to create a marker cluster variable, use the marker cluster function, and add that to our map. Then we have the same for loop that we've been using. Change the variable name here to data frame underscore thousand, so that we know we're using one thousand points from our data frame. And the change I need to make is I need to add fully markers to the marker cluster. Let me go ahead and change that here. This marker cluster variable will match this right here. And since this marker cluster variable is being added to map three, we uh, shall have a map with marker clusters in map three. So let's run that and see how we did. Okay, so check that out. We have marker clusters now. What's cool about these when you when you zoom in, when you zoom in, they'll become smaller divisions uh, based on uh, the scale that you're at. You zoom out, they'll group together more based on the scale that you're at. You can also click and it'll kind of show you which geographical region that marker cluster is correlated to. And then once you get close enough, they'll no longer be together. So that's our marker clusters. Pretty cool. Now I want to try to run that same thing, but with 5,000 points. Copy and paste this to a new cell. And I'm gonna make it map four just so we have something to compare it with. So change my M3s to M4 throughout. Add a cell above. I'm going to make a data frame 5,000, which is our original data frame and the first 5,000 points. Run that. And then let's change our data frame reference to data frame 5,000 variable. And let's run that. Yeah, so we just have, you know, a more dense crime around Chicago in this instance because we were looking at more of our crime incidences from the data frame. So I'm going to do that exact same thing, but uh, I'm going to test 10,000 points. Here's the real test because when I did 10,000 points in the previous video, I had really bad performance issues. So let's see if this time around with marker clusters, we can improve our performance. We'll make this M5 so we can compare map number five, and then we'll change our data frame, reference the data frame 10,000, and let's run this and see how it performs. Oh no, what did I do wrong here? Oh, I forgot to run this, this cell. That's funny. Okay, now I've ran that cell. We shouldn't get that error anymore. It's loading. Probably gonna take just a little bit longer. That makes me nervous waiting, man. I, uh, I hope, I think this is going to improve the performance. Okay, so I have a massive performance boost from my previous video. And so that's how we can add marker clusters in Python Folium. I'm probably going to add a little bit more customization here, either tack it onto this video or make another video. We have successfully added marker clusters into our map using the marker cluster plugin. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.